Welcome one, welcome all to quarter finals of the GPC. We made playoffs, guys. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, we were in a league called the GPC, and uh, we made quarterfinals. Uh, we made playoffs, like I just said. And uh, we are up against Merc. Mr. Mercro, considered one of the top 15 players in Gen 6 league format. So very, uh, a very monstrous opponent, to say the least. And uh, as you can see, he has a very difficult team to deal with. A lot of mons that I've faced already this season, uh, such as Lucario, Thunderous uh, Incarnate, uh, sorry, Thunderous Therian, um, there's also Gastrodon, Dawnfan, those are all Pokemon that I've faced this season. Uh, Mega Venusaur, no. So, um, I actually didn't expect him to bring Mega Venusaur. I kind of didn't prep too much for it, and uh, I probably should have, but uh, he's also got the Heatran, of course. So that's the team he's bringing. He had a lot of like really potent threats in the back, and I can't remember them off of the top of my head now. But I'm just going to present the uh, the match to you guys right here. Uh, so as you can see, we brought Mega Gardevoir, 4chan, um, Rob, our Mean Chow, GLG, the Entei, Into Trap, our Doug Trio, uh, um, Scully. That's it. That's the nickname we had. Scully, the Tentacruel, and um, Tweety, the Zapdos. So this is the first time we were bringing Tentacruel. I thought I had a great matchup with Giga Drain against the Gastrodon. Uh, Scald against the Dawn fan. I was also rocking, rocking a Shooka Berry to make sure to live a hit from either one of those, as well as a, um, as well as an Earth Power from Heatran. And uh, sorry, we don't have Scald. We had Surf, uh, so that I could hit Heatran and two hit KO it if it wasn't fully spadef. So that was uh, the idea. Zapdos is a U-turn set, so not to give uh, Thunderous any kind of leftovers recovery. Uh, not leftovers, but uh, Volt Absorb Recovery. We didn't want to be able, uh, didn't want to be going for Volt Switch on it, basically. And uh, Mega Gardevoir is Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, Taunt, and uh, now I can't remember the last move, but I never click it during the battle, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Entei is Sacred Fire. Um, is it? Yeah, it's Sacred Fire, Flare, um, not Flare Blitz, Flame Charge. Excuse me. Uh, e Speed and Bulldoze. Uh, and I was thinking, let's get rid of the Gastrodon, and then this thing sweeps. But anyway, uh, let's just jump right into the match so you guys can see what happened. So, my opponent decides to lead off with uh, his biggest threat to me, apparently, uh, Mega Venusaur. And I decide to lead off with uh, Tentacruel. As you can see, he Mega Evolves. And I had the Shooka Berry, so I wasn't too worried about anything, and I just wanted to see how much a Sludge Wave would do. So, he does end up clicking Earthquake on the first turn, as I go for Sludge Wave, and we are able to take the Earthquake quite comfortably because of the Shooka Berry. Only take 36%. Now, I don't really want to stay in on another EQ, so I'm going to switch out to Zapdos. Now, here's the problem with my Zapdos set. I probably should have listened to Jose. This is the, fir the first and only time I'm going to say this, but I probably should have listened to Jose uh, and Johnny. A um, Metal Sound, uh, Flying Coverage, U-Turn, and potentially Hidden Power Ice uh, set would have probably been, uh, probably been a lot better here. But I'm rocking Heat Wave. Uh, U-turn. Uh, I think Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt for uh, Lucario, Heatran, stuff like that. And the last move uh, was Roost. So I'm going to switch in. He goes for Leech Seeds uh, and he's going to gain back some health. I'm just going to go for a U-turn to get right on out of there. I'm going to go back into my Tentacruel uh, and expecting him to Earthquake on the following turn after he Sludge Bombs. I'm going to switch right back out into Zapdos, and he does make a very good play here and goes for another Sludge Bomb, not fearing any attack, really, uh, that I can throw out at him, and he does get the poison, unfortunately, so now I have to try to wear this thing down with Heat Waves, uh, even though he has the Thick Fat, so he's not really taking too much damage from them. I'm trying to get a burn, essentially, on this thing, so that it can't switch into two Banded High Jump Kicks from Rob uh, later on in the match, but as you can see, we're not going to get a burn on the following Heat Wave, and he's going to be able to Synth up. Now, Mega Gardevoir can come in and straight knock this thing out. Uh, he does have a Pokemon that can take um, Psyshox relatively well in Heatran. Uh, that thing doesn't really want to take Focus Blast, but we're not running it, so there goes that idea. Uh, we're going to go for a Psyshock right here. We're going to hit the Thunderous T on the switch. Uh, I calced a Sludge Wave. Couldn't take us out unless he was max special attack specs. Um, so I decided to stay in. He goes for the Thunder Punch. That's fine. We were able to knock out the Thunderous. Gardevoir picks up a kill, continuing its, ki uh, continuing its kill leader things that it does. And uh, Heatran's going to come in. I'm forced out because of the Flash Cannon. Just going to go into Tentacruel as he gets up rocks. Now, I did EV Tentacruel to be faster than Heatran, so I am going to be able to get off the spin right here. Uh, but of course, he is going to be able to go for the Earth Power and knock me out. So this tells me that he's not Scarfed. Now, right here, I probably should have realized... If he's not Scarf, and I don't see leftovers after rapid spinning, 
What is he? <laughs> I'm gonna go into Duck Trio here, and you guys are gonna see this Heatran is gonna be able to switch out on me, <laughs> even though I have are Arena Trap, so he is Shed Shell, and that is just amazing prep once again on Merc's part. I'm gonna hit this Dawn Fan for not too much damage, and now I have to pick a Sack. I'm going to switch out into Entei, Sack it off here, it doesn't do much to this game, the Gastrodon is still alive, and now I'm going to rely on High Jump Kick Crits to win this game. Essentially. is gonna come in, he's gonna make a nice play, switch out into his Venusaur, not sacking off his, uh, his only real response to Earthquake from Dugtrio, uh, being Dawn Fan. I'm gonna be forced out here into Mega Gardevoir, he's just gonna simply go for the Synthesis. And I'm gonna be forced to Psy Shock right here. He almost stayed in on that turn, that would've been amazing, because then Minxiao actually would've swept him. But, uh, I'm gonna go for the Taunt here, making sure that he can't get back up rocks for my Sash. And he's gonna go for Flash Cannon and knock us out, so he's three attacks rocks. Makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go back into the Trio. he has no reason to stay in here, but he does! And I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks, uh, because I needed to, uh, to ensure a kill on Venusaur later. And he's gonna go for Magma Storm, he's gonna connect, bring us down to Sash, and, uh, the Magma Storm damage, um, the residual damage is gonna take us out. Now I go into Rob, I go for a High Jump Kick. Knock out his Heatran. Uh, now he, I'm gonna go for another high jump kick on this uh, Venusaur. He's just going to go for a synthesis to get back up to full after the rocks. Good play. And now he has no reason not to sludge bomb because even if I crit him, the sludge bomb damage will put me in range of E speed or bullet punch from uh, Lucario. So he has absolutely nothing to fear. I'm not gonna be able to get the crit. And sludge bomb is going to be able to take out Rob. So. Very badly prepped on my part. Unfortunately, we are out of playoffs. They are actually in finals already at the time of recording this. Uh, the finals have not been played yet, I don't believe, but Merc has made it to finals. If you're not keeping up with the GPC, I definitely highly recommend it. There's very, very good level of competition. And Merc is considered number 15. He's playing up against um, Shoddy, who was actually in the GOT with us. Uh, and you can see him here uh, in the chat on the side, the Bayern Munich. That's his team. Uh, amazing player, and he's got a crazy good team as well. I believe that they have two of the best teams in the league, uh, as well as Joris, but Joris got eliminated by Merc, I believe. So, yeah, they're going to be facing off in finals. I definitely highly recommend you guys check it out. I'm going to try to leave a link to the GPC's Twitter in the uh, in the description down below. Follow them. I'll link, leave a link to the channel as well. Go subscribe to that one. Also, subscribe to us if you haven't already. Uh, if you did enjoy our GPC run with a team that we didn't even draft, uh, we made it to first round of playoffs, which was kind of impressive, and I could have definitely played this game a lot better, and potentially won with uh, with Mean Shao for sure. Had I been uh, a little more prepped for this Venusaur, I think that would have been uh, essential, and also possibly having Focus Blast on Gardevoir for Heatran would have been a good idea uh, to, to get rid of it early, but um, no, Merc came out on top, he just prepped well. Uh, the, the biggest focus that I had throughout the game was Gastron, I need to get rid of Gastron or I'm going to lose. And that cost me. Uh, I was too focused on it because Johnny's Gastrodon threatened to put in so much work against me in week 11. So I, I, I still had that mindset. Probably if I hadn't gone up against a Gastrodon in week 11, I would have prepped a lot better for this game. But um, we did uh, take our time for plays. They said I was playing slowly. I don't remember playing slowly. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna wrap it up guys. Uh, we're gonna keep it to a short video again If you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below and uh, oh and we are staying in the GPC for next season Actually, uh, a lot of players are leaving so I decided you know what? Let's uh, let's keep going Let's see what we can do with our own drafted team and now we're in gen 7. So this is gonna be insane There are so many different rule changes that are gonna occur uh, over the course of the next couple of months because of um, Z crystals, and if if you haven't played through the game yet, then I'm sorry for spoiling you. But there are so many different things that have to be tiered, and uh, so many things that have to be regulated in terms of rules, and it's going to be really interesting to see. So we will be back next season. This season is over, unfortunately, for your Montreal Habsalls. But uh, again, if you did enjoy, then uh, make sure to leave a like for me. Let's me know that you guys enjoy these videos, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.